Hello and welcome back to Let's Play Age of Empires 3 with your host as always, Madrybred, and returning special guest co-host, Snappish Hippo. Hello. We are about to start the third act now, Ice. We haven't seen uh we haven't seen any of it yet, we haven't played any missions of it yet. So let's well, just hit play. Second act. Yes, this is the beginning of the second of three acts of the vanilla game. And we will be doing the expansions, by the way, after this. Hooray! By the middle of the 18th century, so we've got our year, uh, our mm -hmm. general era, many thriving colonies have been founded in the New World, but European conflict would soon explode into the Americas. Ellipsis. Michael Bay? Yes. Everyone always said Morgan's grandson, John Black, had a lot more enemies than he had friends. But one man, a Mohawk named Kenyon Kay, always stood by his side. Even if the two did have a friendly rivalry. Too slow, John Black. You were faster once. And your eyes were better once. Your arrow missed the mark. My shot was the one that took him down. Only a few more miles to Brunswick, boys. We've marched long and hard. You all deserve a hot meal. This is a waste of time. Your uncle sees a shadow in the forest and cries for help. Stuart is not the commander my grandfather Morgan was. But if he says the colony is threatened, I believe him. Why would the Cherokee attack? Brunswick is far from their lands. Who knows? The colonists can't afford to take chances. And as long as they line our pockets, their interests are mine. John! Thank God you're here! Uncle, what happened here? Where's the garrison? These few men are all that's left. The others died in the last raid, and the Cherokee carried off most of the survivors. Another war party is on the way. Less than a mile distant. I can hear them. Shore up the defenses and open the arsenal. I want every colonist that can hold a musket on the walls. All right, we are John Black, the I believe it was great grandson or grandson. I think it's grandson of mm. uh, Morgan Black. And we're here in Brunswick trying to defend it because the Cherokee are now attacking our colony. We're not sure why yet. Another wife of Cherokee. They sighted. just can. Go! Yep. Grab rifles. That's so how it goes. Walls. Yes, yes. I won. So straight up, you have to defend, eh? This one is a straight up defense mission by the looks of it. Okay. Which is cool, I like those. Yeah. Skirmishers will be useful here. They are low hit point units that have very long range on their muskets. They're light infantry, so they're good against, uh, I believe, other in infantry. Hmm, cool. I don't know. They're not peaceful anymore. Prepare the defenses. We have to hold off the Cherokee until reinforcements arrive. Yep, the Cherokee have always been peaceful, but all of a sudden they are not. So we have 15 minutes to survive. Oh, so you just have to survive the waves, eh? Yes. I'm ready. Nice. I'm I'm that should be pretty settlers. easy. Yes. We'll need resources yes, to defend this or not. I could just fuck the server by saying that. <laughs> Hopefully Whoops. it'll be easy. That's what we said about the last time. Okay, okay let's scout around a little bit camp. for alternate objectives. It looks like we do have a dock here. So a few nice. fishing ships would not hurt, because they don't have guns. <laughs> See what you did there. Yes. You yes. made a funny. It it was a particularly funny funny. I'm going now. Mm -hmm. Are they bears? Yep. I was and just taking I was taking out some uh, treasure guardians. Bears of treasure guardians. Yep. They were guarding ah. that tent. That was their purpose in life. So I would like to get a home shipment of a cannon, that would be nice. That would be pretty sweet. Yeah. So I'm scouting around right now, I want to try and explore the map. You get experience for exploring uh, the map, by the way. Uh, an artillery foundry would be a nice thing to get early on. It looks like we found some uh, enemies here. Let's uh, get them early. Cherokee are attacking a village over here. To the far east of Brunswick. Okay, we are going to backing out of this fight. I don't think I can take these ones. Let's back us up to our there. towers. Also, we want to try and save up for um, the upgrade to our outposts right away. Yeah, definitely. 
But we don't have anyone gathering wood right now, unfortunately. Hmm. So let's get on that. Yeah, that'll be good. Be good to get some wood. It would be good to get wood, yes. Okay, let's move into these this allying village. As soon as you kill that guy, though. Yeah, that one guy, he had to come up. Yes. Mm hmm. Yes, come on, Yes, yes. You chop wood. So I take it you can't get flaming hoopman anymore. No, unfortunately, they've kind of gotten validated. We, don't, we just don't have a use for flaming hoop anymore, I guess. Okay, these are mostly infantry, so my skirmishers should be pretty good here. Mm hmm. Uh, what I'm worried about mostly is cavalry. We have we have a lot of skirmishers, and uh, cavalry are pretty good against skirmishers. Yeah. These archers aren't very good against me though, and I'm sending in some musketeers from the homeland. Hmm. Ready? Yes. yes. Okay, I want these skirmishers up near the wall. He wall. Four star. Okay, we've almost fended off the uh, attackers of this village. Sweet. Got him. You, yes, you gain control, so I was about to ask you gain control, but right? Yep. Sweet. You can stuck in wood, too. Yeah. From here. Now, I believe they won't attack that village anymore, which means it's a very good place to get wood from. Because oh, our good. colony is under attack constantly, so... Oh, what's this? Yeah. Ah, oh, that raiding party thought they could uh, sneak up. And now that we have some musket men, they're heavy infantry. Very powerful and especially good in melee against uh, against yeah, cavalry right. because they have bayonets. Nice. And bayonets are especially effective against cavalry. Cool. We're now making artificial fertilizer because food's always important. And we just ran into some more archers. It's all right. You have guns. Yep. Why are they individually uh, shooting people? Split up your fire a bit, guys. Hmm. Now let's upgrade the uh, fishing ship's nets so they gather faster. That'd be good. Man, I don't think I've ever done this well on this mission before. Not that it's particularly hard, it's just I'm doing really good. Yeah, well, all we have to do is defend from all of this, right? Yes. And you're killing them before they actually even get to you, so... Oh wow, there are too many enemies here. I've got to back up. Yeah. Did you want to drop a tower in uh, that other village, just in case? I might, yeah. We're backing up to the village. Hmm. There's uh, quite a big can... group on their way. Yeah. Ooh, those are expensive. Are they coming this way? No, I think they're going around towards the... Uh, yep. Yep. I still need more wood for that tower upgrade. Damn. Ah! Is the oh. AI saying shit? More colonists. Get them into the colony. Hurry. The Cherokee uh, are right behind it. Apparently there's some Cherokee going, going over to attack those colonists. Okay. Gotta try and intercept it. Colony. Hurry! Uh. Ready. I mean so. Let's get all these guys joining up with the main group, moving out. How did the Cherokee? So if I get ever has to slowly move. Oh, the Cherokee have a cannon apparently. Wow. Yeah. That's something we want to get rid of immediately. Yep. Give them weapons. That's definite. Okay, the colonists we just saved uh, have turned into skirmishers. Nice. So, free units. Oh man, they're burning down the units. external towers. Gotta get rid of this group. Almost got them down. Okay, gotta move up there now. Yes. You guys go on gold. Another wave of Cherokee sighted. Yeah. Wow, these these uh 
Ulans. Ulans, I think that's how they're pronounced. Usually you get them if you're Germany. I don't know why I have them, but whatever, they're good. <laughs> you imported them. I guess, I imported them from Germany. I don't know why Germany is on my side. <laughs> okay, uh, guys, you've got to back up. Yes, you do. Because they're starting to hit really hard. You build mm -hmm. a barracks. Yes. How many minutes in are you? I am seven minutes in. We're about halfway done. Oh wow! Well. It's actually yeah. going surprisingly quickly. Yep. We got our cannons behind the walls here to back us up. Nice. And then you get the towers. Can you get the outpost upgrade yet? Not yet. We keep spending wood on other things. Yeah, right. I think it's about time I start being a little bit more defensive. Yeah, that'd be good. We've got a shit ton of food now that I look at it. Start building some more units, eh? Yeah. Get them into the colony. Hurry. Okay, um There, I'm making a shit ton of musketeers. <laughs> Which are good, because musketeers are always awesome. Should only make three. Uh, I am making I am making 19. Well, that completely ruins the story. You asshole. No. Well, they aren't French. Oh, right. Okay, looks like these guys got away just fine. Well. I didn't even need to help them, really. <laughs> they just sort of walked up. How much more wood do you need for the outpost? I have enough wood, I just need a bit more gold. Ah, oh, damn it. You so will have to not one thing, it's something else. Yep. Okay, now I've got enough upgrades going. It'll be 50% damage increase. Huh. Good. We're getting a lot of resources from that other town. Are there, any upgrades, to down. Are there any upgrades to increase the range? I do not believe. Uh -huh. I wish there was a health one. That would be good too. Ooh, wow, there are a lot of them coming. I'm getting back yep. on the wall. It's time. It's about time I get a wall upgrade, but man, are those expensive. They are in all of the games, all upgrades. Yeah. Except the Atlantean wall upgrades. Oh my god, that's because they're overpowered. And because they can get, um, like, grass walls or something like that? Yeah, they can get the strongest yeah. walls in the game, you know, fuck mm -hmm. Greece, you know, the big thing about the Greek was that they're expensive but very powerful. Mm -hmm. No, no, Atlanteans, they beat them in everything. Well, basically you could make a, just with the Atlanteans, just make a bunch of villagers, turn them into heroes and go raid a base. Yep. Because <laughs> that's not, that's pretty fair. Oh, Ooh. oh god, take care of that can, take care of yes. that Yes, saw that. Musketeers, you're switching to your bayonets and charging it. Got a lot of musketeers, eh? Yeah. <laughs> there. That actually worked really well, having my uh, musketeers go in with their bayonets. Yeah. Usually you only do that against cavalry. Hmm. Um, you guys. There. Whoa! Even more of them. These towers now shoot uh, cannonballs. Nice. I believe. Oh no, they're still using guns, I think. Can I go to the fourth age in this? Yes, I can. Nice. I'm never gonna have the resources for it. Well, nope. I'll have enough food for it, Jesus, but... You always have enough food for it. In some missions, it's food you're either running out of or you have the most of. Yes. Yep. Whoa! Holy shit. Oh, drop? um, musketeers, switch to bayonets. Definitely. Oh yeah, that's working much better. Yep. See, Planning that's why hand, infantry, hand cavalry is so bad against musketeers, because when they're stuck in melee, the musketeer will automatically start using the bayonet. Yeah. I love musketeers. <laughs> you do. There we go. I worked out well. Yeah. Not many of you guys died. I am now doing an upgrade where all musketeers are all around better. Oh, up the top left of your base. 
Oh, is it ripped up? Yep. Thank you for informing me. Let's move the heavy cannon up there. And more musketeers. Queue them up. It's queuing up another 20 after the upgrade. <laughs> Just why not, right? And repair every tower. Does that cost a lot to do? Uh, not really. Repairing is pretty cheap in this game. Good. And it can be done Let's... automatically as long as they're not under attack. You don't need villagers there. Oh, good. Yeah. Because having a villager get killed while repairing is the most annoying thing ever. Oh, yeah. More colonists. Get them into the colony. Hurry. I think I might actually just build a second barracks at this point, just so I can make units even faster. Yeah, do it. Yeah. In most age games, I usually go to barracks. I mean, so Same here. It's, all you, it's, it's all you ever really need, because units produce fairly quickly. Yeah, especially against computers. Mm-hmm. Which, they don't really adjust their strategy very well. No. Unless you're playing on the hardest difficulty. Then they're just cheating bastards. Yep. I don't think I've ever won on the hardest difficulty in any of the Age of Empires games. Yeah, well, it's because they cheat like motherfuckers. They have huge bonuses. Mm-hmm. Man, that, uh, the veteran musketeer upgrade is really paying off. Yeah, it is. They're militia now. My god, I have a lot of musketeers. <laughs> oh, see them over here. Yep. There they are. Ooh, cannon. Uh, switching to musket- er, switching to bayonets. Guys, can you charge in a little bit faster? Nope. And switch back to shooting. Uh oh. The is dead, but I have more coming. Hmm. I have an arsenal. Do I have any upgrades to the arsenal I should be doing? Infantry but breastplate, but does that help? Only archers and hand infantry. I'm only using gunpowder units, so yeah, that's not gonna help. Don't worry about it. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And I don't want any of the artillery or cavalry upgrades because I really don't need that. Man, they're attacking hard now. Yes, they are. Do you have your cannon in place? Yes, yeah. I do. Sweet. Okay, and the musketeers are going bayonets because a lot of these guys are cavalry. Yes. We have 30 seconds left in the mission. 30 seconds? Yep. Ah, nice. Because that's why the attacks are going so hardcore right now. Yeah, it's always in the last instances of the mission where it gets ridiculous. But you're doing a pretty good job, so... Yeah, I think so. There, all the cavalry is down almost, so I'm switching back to shooting. By the way, in the actual, like, online and skirmish and stuff, musketeers are not nearly this cheap. Like, they're not a hundred food, like, twenty-five gold. Because they're so overpowered, right? Yeah. Well, the musketeers are really strong, so they make them appropriately very expensive. Yes. But in this campaign, for some reason, they make them dirt cheap, and it's just as strong. Wow. So, uh... This is Boston here. It looks quite different than um, it should. Um, in fact, if you've played on Skirmish, you'll know that this is actually the Dutch city, I believe. This is what it looks. What the Dutch home city looks like. They just renamed it Boston. Lazy. Yay! Let's get some flags. Hell yeah, flags. Why Gotta not? make things look fancy. Mm-hmm. Bigger and fancier. Fancy it up. Hell yeah. Uh... Manufacturing plant. Well, the manufacturing plant we have to pretty up. And... Of course. British East India Company docks. <laughs> you know, the nicest of people in the universe. Yep. That looks pretty cool. 
Yeah, I think it's so too. It's uh, it's, it's badass, you know. So badass. It's like nobody's business. Um. Yeah, I guess I'll get more flags. Okay, and new cards. We can get seven new cards because we have a new city. Uh, hmm. Mercenary drills. Improve John Black and Kyan Key. I think I'm pronouncing that right. So attacks and attack and hit points. And allows Kyan Key to train pet wolves. Mm -hmm. Both of them gain 25% bonus to all damage and uh, their health. Definitely getting that. That's pretty awesome. Yeah, that is pretty sweet. Uh, a team of surgeons. That's that's good. I don't know if I want to have that though. Age three free covered wagon. I'll take that. Now these upgrades. Now it looks like our team is mostly based off Germany because we have um, we have uh, Ulans. Ulans. I think that's how it's pronounced. We have Ulans and we have war wagons, which are Germany only uh, units. Hmm. Mm, advanced mill definitely. Yep. Royal Decree, Claim to the New World. That advanced advanced Arsenal. Adva advanced Arsenal flat out just lets you get an arsenal right away, and nice. it gives you uh, new upgrades for it. It's just an upgrade building, but it's a very good one. Yeah. And back to the Military Academy, I want... Um, I want War Wagons. Are they Siege? They are... They're Cavalry... But they're anti everything ranged, basically. Oh wow! And I think they have decent siege damage. It's just they take almost no damage from bullets. That's awesome. It's like it's a wagon, like a covered wagon that's completely armored, and it has like <laughs> blunderbusses out the windows. Nice. So it's powerful. I like it. And sawmills because I always like to be able to gather wood faster because wood seems to gather very slowly. Yep. That has been it for this episode. The next episode, we're probably going to investigate into exactly why the chair here are attacking. I have a feeling... I, don't, I actually don't remember this plot at all, but I have a feeling it would have to do with one of the European powers who don't like us, because they had cannons when they attacked us, and they were probably getting bought out by someone. Mm -hmm. I do not remember who. All I know is probably not Russia, because I'm pretty sure Russia is not in the plot of any of these games for some reason. Oh. Which sucks, because Rush is a fun team. Yeah. Alright, so until next time, this has been Madrai Bread and Snap Have a nice day. Sayonara.